Hey guys, um, hopefully I upload this video. Um, I don't really like the quality of it, so I'm thinking not, maybe do it at home, but maybe I'll do it anyways and redo it later. Anyways, the question was asked, um, somebody sent me a message asking that they, about how I suggest um, polyunsaturated fatty acids and specifically omega-6. And they read how you know linoleic acid was actually bad for you, um, which is not. So basically this is my, um, I'm videoing my, my reply that I already replied to um, the question. So <clears throat> those studies that show linoleic acid or omega-6 um, or high polyunsaturated fatty acids specifically from them, the, what was bad on people are actually all um, observational studies essentially, well not all, um, they're observational studies on people eating a typical Western diet, which I like to call the McDonald's based diet. People who are eating fast food rich in uh, seed oils that are, um, that have been deep fried. All those, and so you know, they go, oh, look, all these people eat extra high amounts of linoleic acid. It must be the linoleic acid, so they blame it on that. Which is interesting because a recent study that showed uh, people who avoided the linoleic acid uh, in uh, more recent years they actually had worse health, overall health markers, heart health, and so on and so on. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's not bad for you. Uh, the reason those studies are bad for you, one, is because it's a processed oil, and two, it is deep fried, and three, that they're eating. A poor, a poor diet in, in general, a whole bunch of other um, poor food choices. Uh, when somebody's eating the typical McDonald's side, they're doing in, in general a whole bunch of uh, worse uh, food choices, leading to poor health outcomes. When we look at studies on healthy whole foods high in linoleic acid, such as increased uh, seeds and or nuts, depending on the nuts, right? Some are more uh, higher mono uh, saturated fatty acids. So when we look at studies that are higher seed content, uh, or hire any whole food with high linoleic acid that actually showed improved health markers all around, improved uh, inflammation scores and stuff like that. So linoleic acid is not bad for you. Uh, linoleic acid is very important and mu extremely important in muscle growth. It makes up something odd, 60% uh, of the epidermis, your skin. Um, linoleic acid, we need a lot of it. It's it shown improved cognitive function and, and stuff like that. And when the ratios were skewed and you actually had less, um, they showed, uh, yeah, like worse memory scores and so so on. So linoleic acid is not bad for you. It is extremely healthy and it is extremely important. And I cannot emphasize on the importance of it. This is why when I quoted those studies of people who ate higher um, omega-6 specifically, polyunsaturated fatty acids, um, when they overfed people 750 calories a day, uh, half of that was uh, pure, purely of the omega-6 they saw um, almost all muscle gain yet the group that ate entirely saturated fat saw um, uh, almost entirely fat gain but saturated fat was from palm oil not all saturated fat is bad it's the fatty acid makeup that makes up this, the, the saturated fat that makes the difference so again guys omega-6 and linoleic acid is extremely important it's probably one of the most important fatty acids I would say um, so yeah um eat a lot of it. it it's insanely good for health markers insanely good for muscle growth but make sure it is from whole foods don't be looking at studies where it's just going by the general typical american eating deep fried vegetable oils vegetable oils are bad they're processed foods they rid all the nutrients needed to utilize them as i explained in my one video as an example um every single macronutrient requires specific amounts of micronutrients for the macronutrients to be utilized <clears throat> um Sorry guys. Um, yeah, every single macronutrient you eat requires a very specific amount of micronutrients to be utilized. Example with polyunsaturated fatty acids, you require a very specific amount of vitamin E. And when you go in, and that usually comes with like the nuts and seeds or fish or so on, and that is to utilize a polyunsaturated fatty acid. Um, so when you go and take a seed oil, it's devoid of the vitamin E, uh, well, mo most seed oils, and you are now, the body is stealing the vitamin E tissue, um, the vitamin E source from your tissues, so it can create deficiency. So seed oils are bad, uh, horrible, any any processed food, this is what I always tell, tell people, any processed food is bad and depletes your body of nutrients. So avoid seed oils and avoid deep fried oils in McDonald's-based diets, essentially. That is what's bad, not, not the linoleic acid. Um, there's one more point I wanted to add. Oh, and then he asked if butter's been eating uh, the question from the guy. He asked if butter was okay. Totally against butter, as I'm totally against all dairy. As you guys know, um, dairy was shown to 
Uh, it's one of the highest foods linked to cancer, essentially, that we eat today, <clears throat> dairy in general. And it was shown in men and boys to lower testosterone, lower LH, and raise estrogen. Everybody that I get up there, they know it's acne improved. They they have estrogenic symptoms like gyno. They notice that improve. Um, oops, sorry, guys. Uh, uh, Thing that cut out there i was saying if they have estrogenic sim symptoms they notice that improve and another thing i don't like about dairy is that it is a processed food as well so in nature you wouldn't find a, a chunk of butter you'd find a cow and you'd maybe get some milk um but even with you getting some milk you wouldn't get copious amounts of it you, so you're taking the cow you're taking the milk uh and you're taking the butter which is a processed form of the milk Again, devoid of a whole bunch of nutrients that it would naturally come with. I just don't like it in general, period. It is a processed food. Uh, people like to look at it as a whole food. No, it's a processed food. You don't find butter in nature. You're taking it out of another food source and processing it and even ditching more of the nutrients. And it's extremely high in vitamin A, which again, I don't like it. It causes dehydration, impairs muscle growth. So many health negatives from excess vitamin A. Vitamin A is only okay if you're getting 16 hours of sun a day. Like we are tended to in nature and nobody gets that. So... Yeah, uh, I hate butter. Um, all right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, again, thanks for appreciating my content. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you to my forum and my website members. Thank you to my Facebook followers. Thank you to all of you. Thank you for sharing my content. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.